solutions in minutes. Today we're going to go ahead and cover customization and configuration uh, within the Power Apps platform. So let's go ahead and open up our solution here. And what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, extend our model driven app. So this is the model driven app that I have here. I've gone ahead and created a custom opportunities entity because we don't have Dynamics 365 for sales installed. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, you know, that entity um, is going to interface with what we're going to work with today, which is the lead entity. So traditionally, the lead is for prospects. These are people that potentially we want to do business with um, or want to do business with us. And so we're going to create something very basic, uh, simple, just conceptual so that we can then um, be able to create opportunities um, out of these leads. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So in our solution, we're going to go ahead and add a new table. And we'll call the table lead. And da -da 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 -da, we'll leave that alone. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the settings. And so we'll give it a description. Leads capture potential customers or prospects. And then the table type is a standard table. Ownership user or team is good. We don't want everybody to own it. And then we're going to enable it for activities, kind of just how the lead is out of the box when you get Dynamics 365 for sales. Uh, we'll allow, let's see here, I think that's good. We want quick create forms, absolutely. A duplicate detection, I think that's good for now. So it's creating our table. In the meantime, let's go ahead and add some columns. So let's think of some key basic columns we'd get, right? So first name, this is going to be text, and we'll create that. And then we'll add another column, middle name. And you can probably see where this is going. Um, whatever we capture at the lead level about a person is going to be converted into a contact later in another video. Whatever we capture about a company is going to be converted into an account in another video. And so now we have all these out of the box fields. Okay, great. Let's add another column here. Call it company name. It's still a string, a text field. Okay. And then um, right now, I think the only other thing that we need minimum viable product is email address. And that's going to be a email field. And then I'll think I'll take it a step further. Um, let's do address one, street one. And that's a string. And then we'll do address one. Street two, and we'll do address one city, address one state, address one zip and address one country region okay I think that's good enough so let's go ahead to go to our forms what we'll go ahead and do is uh, go ahead and create a form here uh, let's go ahead and save our table of course <laughs> And then once we save our table, then we can start editing our main form. <clears throat> so what we'll do is keep it pretty simple and straightforward.
All right, so right now all we have is the name field. Um, what we can do here is we can actually change this to the topic of the lead, which we can then map over to the opportunity later. So change that. And then from here is where we want us to just add a bunch of fields. So let's add some fields. And they haven't popped up yet, so let's go ahead and save this. Let's publish this. Let's maybe refresh the page here and see if we don't have access to those fields that we just created a moment ago. And so now I have what I want. So very good. So what I'm going to do here is, you know, the topic is the purpose of the lead that'll be required. Um, and then I'm going to just kind of start populating this here with data. The owner, I'm going to leave there for now, but I'd probably put it in the header. <clears throat> and then um, what we're going to go ahead and do here is add the email address, company name right after last name, and then we'll add in address one, street one. Address 1 Street 2, Address 1 City, Address 1 State, Address 1 Zip, Address 1 Country. So just a very basic form. And then what we can do also is on our tree view is if we go to the header, we can actually go ahead and move this over here and so now we have the owner up here and we can also do something here which is in the header uh, let's add the status and the status reason okay very good and now that we have this, I feel pretty good about it. I'll go ahead and publish this. <clears throat> All right, very good. Now, next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and um, continue working with this entity. So relationally, this lead is going to be a parent of the opportunity. It's going to be a parent of the um, contact, and it's going to be a parent of the account, which sounds really weird, but that's just how Dynamics 365 Sales works, and I think I want to emulate that here. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a relationship, right? So what I'm going to do is um, add a relationship, and it's going to be a one-to-many relationship, and my related table is going to be, we'll start with the account, the lookup column. I'm going to change it to originating lead. That probably sounds familiar to many of you. And all right, very good. It's done. And then the other thing I'm going to do. <clears throat> is create another relationship which is um, one too many and that's going to be to the contact and once again originating lead create another relationship one to many to the opportunity originating lead very good okay so we'll save our table we now have those relationships on both ends that's going to bring in um, some other components into our solution just as a result it, uh, it's going to bring in the account metadata it's going to bring in the opportunity metadata it's going to bring in the contact metadata and you can see that here if we go in here you see we have the account the contact and the opportunity now we didn't 
before. So <clears throat> now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, manipulate our model-driven app. And kind of expand it or enhance it a little bit. And in the next video, we will actually um, go a step further and start showing how we would <clears throat> convert a lead to a, an opportunity contact and account. And that's going to be interesting. So uh, let's go to the site map. And then what I'm going to do now is so my customers are people that I've qualified into contacts or accounts. So what I now need all of a sudden my business need is I need a prospect section of some sort. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to add a group. I'm going to move this group here and I'm going to change the name of the group to prospects. And then the next thing I'm going to do is click on that section and from the context of it add a sub area and that sub area is going to point point to my lead entity, my custom lead entity that I have now. So I save it, publish it. Very good. And if we look here, we have all the forms, views, charts, dashboards. Save and close this. We'll take a peek. Let's do a quick hard refresh. <clears throat> and so now I have leads. Now my view kind of sucks, right? So let's 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 uh, go ahead and tinker with the view real quick. So the active leads view. We'll just add in all these fields and then we'll move them around. So <clears throat> okay, that's fine. Alright. Don't really care about this column, so I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna put the other data here. And then I will move the email address here. So it'll, it'll kind of be synonymous to our form to some degree, this view. Um, and then address. Works. Just make sure that I have, I think, cities over here somewhere. I think it's this one. And this should be country region, I believe. All right. And then the created on, that's fine. We can keep that there. All right, so let's publish this view. Once we confirm it's published, let's once again just do a control F5 or whatever. See if we can now have the columns that we wanted. Okay, great. So let's create a new lead in our new custom entity. This customer or this person is really interested in our products and services and we'll just say um, John Snow um, I don't know his company is Game of Thrones <laughs> and uh, J Snow at HBO.com and then um, just make up an address here 1-800 Winterfell Drive Suite <laughs> 101 um, 
we'll just call it uh, Winterfell. Uh, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. It's been a long time since I watched Game of Thrones. Uh, Winterfell Castle, and then in this crazy zip code of nine nine nine. And then, um, you know, the country region is alternate, alternate universe. Uh, all right, sounds good. I just can't remember the names of these things. So I'm the owner by default. I'll save and close this lead, and then now I should be in the list of leads, and here it is. Pretty cool. All right, so I can, I now have a record, and um, that concludes this part of the customization configuration. Uh, this is lesson one. Hope you've enjoyed, and in our next video uh, on this particular topic, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, create a uh, qualify button on the lead that's going to call a uh, Power Automate job to be able to uh, create the contact account and uh, opportunity based on that record. So uh, we'll get there shortly. Thank you for watching.